Have you ever pondered over the myriad representations of Jesus that exist in our world today? Today, we're delving into this fascinating topic, exploring the many faces of Jesus that have been perceived and depicted throughout history. In traditional Christian belief, Jesus is seen as the Son of God, a figure of divine authority and salvation. But that's not the only way he's been represented. There are a multitude of interpretations that offer different perspectives, each as intriguing as the next. For instance, some mystics and Gnostics view Jesus as a spiritual leader akin to a mystic himself and revealer. In their interpretation, Jesus was not just a teacher of morality, but a guide to a higher level of consciousness and spiritual awareness. This perspective often emphasizes his miracles as symbolic acts, such as his transformation of water into wine, seen as an allegory for turning ordinary intelligence into spiritual wisdom. Then there's another interpretation that presents Jesus as a king from the tribe of Joseph rather than a Jew from Judah. This viewpoint suggests that Jesus was not only a spiritual but also a political figure, challenging the established religious order of his time. It provides a different context to his crucifixion, implying that he was given up to the Romans due to political rather than purely religious conflicts. There's also an intriguing correlation drawn between Jesus and historical figures like Alexander the Great, suggesting that his teachings and leadership style may have influenced the spread of Christian mysticism and its eventual acceptance by philosophers like Plato and Socrates. These varied representations of Jesus highlight the complexity and depth of his character as recorded in historical and religious texts. Each interpretation offers a unique lens through which to understand his teachings and his role in human history. Could it be that these various interpretations of Jesus are akin to viewing a multifaceted gem, each facet revealing a different aspect of the whole? It's a thought-provoking question that invites us to delve deeper into the diverse and fascinating faces of Jesus. If Jesus was from the tribe of Joseph, what does this suggest about the traditional narrative of the 12 tribes of Israel? Let's delve into the theory that perhaps the 12 tribes of Israel, as traditionally understood, may not have been 12 in number. This idea is rooted in historical and archaeological research questioning the established understanding of biblical narratives. For instance, scholars like Tobolowsky in his work, The Myth of the Twelve Tribes of Israel, New Identities Across Time and Space, have boldly challenged these long-held beliefs. Now, imagine if Jesus wasn't from the tribe of Judah as commonly believed, but rather from the tribe of Joseph. This isn't a random speculation, but a theory grounded in scholarly research. It is an alternative perspective challenging the mainstream, and it has profound implications on how we interpret the Bible. Let's consider this. The tribe of Joseph was known for its wisdom and foresight. Joseph, after all, was the one who interpreted Pharaoh's dreams and saved Egypt from a devastating famine. If Jesus was a descendant of this tribe, it would cast him in a different light. This shift of perspective could make us reevaluate the Bible's narratives. It could lead us to reinterpret Jesus' teachings and parables, seeing them not just as spiritual lessons, but also as profound insights into life and the world. It could help us appreciate Jesus' role as a mystic and revealer, much like the Gnostics, who sought to transform the mundane into the spiritual. Moreover, it could also explain why Jesus was given up to the Romans. Perhaps it wasn't merely religious differences, but a deeper conflict between the tribal factions of Joseph and Judah. How might our interpretation of biblical stories change if we consider Jesus as a descendant of Joseph rather than Judah? This question, though provocative, encourages us to approach the Bible with fresh eyes and an open mind. It invites us to explore new perspectives, to seek deeper understanding, and to find richer meanings in these ancient narratives. What if the Bible itself holds the key to these non-mainstream interpretations, but we've been reading it from the wrong perspective? Imagine if we delved into the Bible from a non-Catholic viewpoint, what hidden truths might we discover? What if Jesus himself represented a non-Catholic perspective, challenging the mainstream beliefs of his time? Our understanding of Jesus, his life and his teachings could be significantly transformed. 
Let's consider the possibility that Jesus was not merely a religious figure, but also a philosopher who, much like the great minds of Plato and Socrates, sought to challenge the status quo. The teachings of Jesus seem to echo the philosophical discourses of these ancient thinkers, encouraging introspection, questioning of norms and pursuit of wisdom. This mirrors the philosophical quests of Plato and Socrates, who also championed the pursuit of truth and wisdom over material wealth and societal norms. What if Jesus, much like Alexander the Great, was not confined by his historical context but sought to influence a broader philosophical landscape? Alexander the Great, known for his military genius, also had a profound impact on the cultural and intellectual development of his time. Could Jesus have had a similar influence, not just as a religious leader, but as a philosophical trendsetter who transcended his era? This viewpoint might seem radical, but it's not without basis. This interpretation of Jesus as a philosopher and a mystic challenges our conventional understanding and invites us to explore the Bible from a fresh perspective. Might Jesus, like Alexander the Great, have been a figure who transcended his historical context to influence a broader philosophical landscape? As we continue to delve into these non-mainstream perspectives, we might discover a different, more nuanced understanding of Jesus and his teachings. In light of these perspectives, could our mainstream beliefs about Jesus be challenged? Consider the many faces of Jesus we've discussed. The mystic, the king from the tribe of Joseph, the spiritual alchemist, the Alexander-like figure. These varied representations urge us to rethink our conventional understanding of who Jesus was. The non-Catholic viewpoint of Jesus suggests a broader, more inclusive interpretation of the Bible. It's a perspective that invites us to delve deeper into the text, to find meaning that resonates with our individual beliefs and experiences. These ideas are not meant to unsettle, but to inspire exploration and independent thought. So ask yourself, what if Jesus as we know him is just one facet of a more complex multifaceted figure who continues to reveal himself through our ongoing interpretations and understanding?